Hello and thank you for joining me again to be still in the Word of God. Today we will be meditating on the book of Philippians 4 verse 7, which is a continuation of our previous meditation on verse 6. This meditation is to help you overcome fears, worry, stress, and anxiety. The world has many techniques and meditations for this. Those techniques and meditations are based on doing it by your own strength and by your own power. Although God has created us with wonderful capacities and abilities, we continue to be human. At some point we grow tired and weary, but it is written that all ye that labor and are heavy laden can go to Jesus and he will give you rest. When we rest in Him, we don't need to find strength on our own. We find our rest in Him. So I invite you to get in a comfortable position and close your eyes. With your eyes closed, be aware of any tension in your body. Sometimes we are aware of the tension in our body, but not in our face. Are your muscles in your face tense? Relax those muscles. How about your shoulders? Release any tension in your shoulders. Now release tension in your neck. Drop the weight of your arms. Allow your mind to rest as well. Any concerns, worries, or anything on your to-do list, let them go for now. Let your mind think about God being in your midst. You are in His presence. Breathe with me. Breathe in. Hold it. Breathe out. Breathe in. Hold it. Breathe out. One last time. Breathe in. Hold it. Breathe out. Abba, Father, I pray for your son or daughter that is listening to this right now, seeking your presence to find rest in you. I pray that he or she will find that rest and strength as the word permeates his or her spirit. Allow your Holy Spirit to do his wonderful work in his or her being, overcoming all worry, stress, or anxiety. In Jesus' name, amen. I will read our previous verse and will continue with today's verse. This is the book of Philippians 4, verses 6 and 7. I'll be reading from the King James Version. Be careful for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, Let your requests be made known unto God. Now verse 7. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. And the peace of God. This peace, it's not human but it's the peace of God. It's a different type of peace, and it's not a peace that we possess. It's not a peace that we can give to ourselves. It's not a peace we can find in external activities because it's a supernatural peace. The peace 
of God. Stop for a moment and think that there is a peace that God has and that He alone has. The peace of God which passeth all understanding It passeth all understanding. Have you ever experienced that peace before? A peace. A stillness. A quietness. can't be understood, but his peace simply takes over. Though everything seems uncertain or difficult to overcome, the peace of God takes over and surpasses all understanding. His peace, the one that the world cannot provide, The one that the world does not have. The one that external activities cannot give to you. The peace of God takes over and it surpasses all understanding. Think of a moment when things were not going accordingly in your life. And you reached out to God and received comfort from Him. And He gave you that peace that surpassed all understanding. That's the peace that only our God can provide to you. Then it says that this peace shall keep your heart. It keeps your heart. His peace, which is hard to fathom, keeps your heart. His peace guards. His peace protects. It keeps watch of your heart. Can you take a moment to imagine a soldier in charge of keeping guard of a gate? protecting with diligence protecting with diligence a place that belongs to someone who's important not allowing harm to come in take a moment to visualize this peace 
protecting your heart from anxiety attacks or heart attacks. Visualize this peace of God keeping your heart from all harm, although the fiery arrows are coming from every direction. The peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, shall keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus. His peace protects your thoughts. Those thoughts that steal your joy. Those thoughts that kill your hope. and destroy your health. His peace protects your heart and mind. In Christ Jesus. The one who took on everything for you on the cross. The one who took the crown of thorns on his head to take away the anxiety and worry from your head, from your mind, that you may have life. in spite of all the troubles that life may bring your way. Take a moment to thank Him for giving that opportunity to you. Now that you've meditated on both verses, I'll read them again so that they may sink into your heart. Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God. And the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. I will read them again, and I will do it slowly, so that you may have the time and space to contemplate them. Be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known unto God, and the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus.
pray that the Holy Spirit has given you the peace of mind that you need through these verses and this meditation. I pray that He will give you the strength, the direction, and the guidance that you need in your life. If this has blessed you, please let me know by commenting below, and if you have a specific request on a particular verse, also feel free to let me know. Also, do not forget to hit the subscribe button for more content like this. Thank you for watching.